Hey guys, Okana here. I'm going to talk about the trade I shared this morning with the group, Community Traders Live Skype group, where we learn and trade uh, price action. So we started off with uh, looking at a couple assets that we use, actually four assets that we normally trade. You use the Aussie, you use the JPY, and uh, all the USD uh, called Aussie. So we looked at them. We uh, drew some targets that price was likely to move towards and then uh, I spotted this area here so basically very simple so we browsed through a few time frames to get a good perspective and we saw that we had price dropping is kind of pattern uh, reoccurring par pattern here you see here boom 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 so at the time price was dropping was coming down here so we identified that we got a large push uh, that seems to be a strong um, bull here strong support and we got the trend line so we looked switched a little bit of time frames adjusted our lines and uh, we saw that this could be a good entry now also look here if we would just plot a 200 moving average which is one of my favorite indicators uh, we can see that it happened to intercept this line that we drew so what I did here was also to adjust this round it up to the most uh, closest rounded number C74000 and this was actually I got an even better entry here's the trade I actually shared this uh, the results on the Google Plus I took two trades two expiries uh, which I also shared uh, live in the group and you can see one of them here the entry was slightly lower than the 74000 on the brokers platform this was the first one one minute to go um, so this one was 15 minutes 15 minute expiry on the touch here and the next one was um, for 25 minutes because there was five past the full hour when I entered so the first one was 15 minutes past which was uh, would be uh, 20 minutes past the full hour and then the next one 30 minutes past the full hour uh, so if we look at it on the lower time frame we can see uh, after this candle this is the 15 minute candle that came all the way down then it got pushed up uh, so the second 15 minute candle that closed that was the second trade that expired in the money so uh, look at it on the five minute time frame so the first trade for the 15 minute expired expired here about I think five pips or so and uh, why do we pick that expiry I mean it's easy look at previous one boom 15 minutes so we use the same thing uh, if you look at it on the higher time frame we see that uh, even a higher expiry in this case uh, should be working which it did so I took two expiries uh, got two entries and um, there it is it's very simple you see there is no not bunch of arrows no not bunch of indicators uh, not a cluttered chart just a couple of lines and you can see even if you remove the moving average it still doesn't matter we still had a good line to enter on we had a trend line a support line nothing else was needed poor price action naked charting and this is what the people get to learn in the Skype group community traders live Skype group uh, we trade together you can make some friends to uh, trade with the ones you like some people prefer to scalp the one minute chart using the same techniques some people uh, prefer five minute charts and other as other time frames so it's uh, pretty much up to you what you trade you can make some friends and trade together and learn from your uh, colleagues as well and from me you can always get feedback from me ask me and so uh, don't hesitate to join us there's only a one-time fee but in return you learn a lot of things and uh, you can actually trade uh, price action using a clean chart not one of those messy charts you see elsewhere on uh, YouTube and uh, other websites with a lot of uh, 
indicators i mean looking like a christmas tree you can't make any sense of that uh, so join us coin traders live uh, more information in the description don't forget to leave a comment where you think about price action thanks for watching